quarter of adults in Britain are so obsessed with cleaning and tidying that they spend over four years of their waking lives on household chores. With many feeling compelled to abide by strict regimes and rituals. Couldn't say how many pillows I have. I don't sleep in it. I do have a habit of just walking on the black tiles. They don't share the marks at all. I could lick that brim. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. But for most of us, keeping our homes clean and tidy is not a priority. With 64% happy to leave dirty dishes in the sink overnight. How long has that water been in the sink? About three days. And only 4% of us regularly deep cleaning kitchen appliances. <coughs> I've just found a mouse, Jim. Oh! Can a group of obsessive cleaners transform the habits of a nation? Hit up! She wants to keep the pan. Now this is to turn the light on. Are you actually having a laugh? It's been like this nearly enough for years. Or will this prove no, no, too no, much? No, no, don't even go there. <coughs> for the people whose need for perfection... One, two, three... Before. has become an obsession. Seems to be human hair. Why can't you throw things away? But you're just questioning me like I'm some kind of a div and I'm sick of it. Forty-six-year-old full-time hairdresser Claire uses her professional hairdryer at work and at home. Claire's hairdryer is just one of the tools in her extreme cleaning routine that takes up to 22 hours of her week. So these are my little toothpicks, and then I just get in. Dental floss. It's for cleaning me knobs. OCD diagnosed Claire spends one hour a day on her cooker alone. Every day I clean my hob, regardless of whether there's stains on it or not. And also does a twice daily deep clean of the toilet. Even the pipe, it all has to sparkle. I reckon that's a really clean bog. So clean, I could lick that brim. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Single Claire lives alone in a one bedroom flat in North London with four hoovers and a regimented lifestyle. I have no control over my OCD. It does affect my personal life. I don't socialise. I will clean until the voice in my head tells me to stop. It's quite a bullying voice, so I might want a cup of tea and it'll go, no, bloody get in that kitchen and clean. To challenge her OCD, Claire will be spending four days away from home, helping someone with very different attitudes to cleanliness. I want to see if somehow it will help me with my OCD. So she's travelled 20 miles north to Hertfordshire to clean for a total stranger. Former hair model, 67-year-old Charlie, has lived in Hemel Hempstead all his life. Morning, then. <laughs> he entertains his friends at the local burger van, but never at home. <laughs> Divorcee Charlie, who lives on his own, hasn't cleaned his two-bedroom house for nearly a decade. I thought it was a self-cleaning cooker, but apparently it's just self-cleaning on the inside. Ex-bin man Charlie has also never thrown anything out. It started building up and building up. I just toured stuff. And it got to the stage where, where do I start? I ain't got a clue. How oh, about this, uh, when I was in the paper, done a bit of modelling for the hairdresser's journal. That's, that's 1972. And that was me, uh, 1973. Well, we could do with spruce up. His wife left over 20 years ago, and Charlie's neglected the housework ever since. Well, I've got to admit, it's horrendous. I don't know where to start. So frustrating. I need a, a bit of a push. Looks a little bit grim. 
I'm sure I just went through a cobweb. You can do this, Claire, come on. Ah. Hello. Hiya. I'm All Claire. Right. I'm Charlie. All Pleased right, to meet Charlie. You. Yeah, come on in. Thank you. Right, Claire. This is my lounge. Uh, I don't use it very often. How long has it been like this? I should think at least seven years. It's just filthy. And this is only the first room. Yes. Oh, fucking hell. Look at your cooker! That is absolutely rank. And how long's that food been in that pan? About a week ago, I had a risotto. About a week ago, you had a risotto. <laughs> and that's the remnants of it. Yeah. And how long's that bread roll been there? Uh, probably a couple of days. Show me the rest of the house then. This is my bedroom. Oh my God, look at the carpet. Look at all those glasses on the floor and more fag butts. It's, it's, it's like a squat. I'm looking at that quilt cover. It doesn't bother <laughs> you, does it? Not really. I don't think that's actually dust on that bed. I think it's uh, dandruff. Well, Claire, this is my bathroom. That is rank. My toilet is so clean that I can lick the rim. I could eat dinner off my toilet. I know that how clean it is because I know how I clean it. One cup of tea, water. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Claire wants to ensure Charlie understands what four days of cleaning to her obsessive standards will entail. I have OCD. I'm obsessed with cleaning. It controls me. I can hoover in the morning and when I get home at night, I hoover again, even though no one's been there during the day. Well, I think it should be over the top. I use dental floss around the cooker knobs to get them really clean. I'll talk you through how I clean my toilet. I plunge my hands down bleach and I give a good old scrub around the rim right the way down. I use my hand to plunge till all the water goes out. Then I take my hair dryer and I dry all the water off. Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm lost for words now. It's quite uh, hard for me to come in and assess everything yeah. and it does make me feel quite panicky. That's why I'm taking part in this to see if somehow it will help reduce my OCD. I think some of Claire's things that she said were a little bit over the top. I've never known anyone to be like that. I feel really anxious and panicky. I've got palpitations. I don't know how anyone can live like that. I don't even know if I want to attempt to clean it. It's just filthy. Only one in five of us change our bed sheets more than once a month. But for some, hygiene is such an obsession that it dominates their lives. I like to just shake the duvet out and just let it land so it's in a nice straight line. 31-year-old Andy from Leicester will not leave his two-bedroom maisonette until everything is perfect. Per day, I spend around two to three hours cleaning on average. At weekends, it can be between eight to ten hours a day. I spend quite a lot of time plumping the cushions on the sofa. If I go to bed without doing this, I lay in bed and I can't sleep. There will be no circumstances whatsoever that I believe this is made. Objects around the flat are all positioned straight. For me, that looks tidy. Although full-time sales rep Andy hasn't been diagnosed with OCD, he's undergoing specialist therapy to address his ritualistic behaviours. I like to do things four times. It can take me maybe three or four hours. If it's not done four times, I don't feel that it's, it's clean enough to put on that drainer. 
even when the dishes are scrupulously clean and his job is still not done. What I like to do is just to get like a nice sort of egg shape to the cloth. If it doesn't sit right, every time I walk into the kitchen to see it, it's going to wind me up. I'm happy for that. Currently single, Andy does share his flat with Leo, the chinchilla. I want to make sure he's nice and clean. When people come round, I don't want them to think, oh, you know, that animal's not very clean. Look at the state of his cage. If he runs over this or I knock it, then I have to start all over again. Andy hopes that taking four days away from his ritualistic cleaning will help address his OCD tendencies. I'd like to have more time from friends and family, more time for me, and not have this play such an important role in my daily routine. So he's travelled 130 miles to Essex, to someone else's house at the opposite end of the cleaning spectrum. I'm hoping that we can both find a happy medium so I can clean less. And by the same token, I'm hoping they can think, well, actually, that could do with being done. Look at it. <laughs> Heart's really going now. Heart's really going. Hip, hip, hoo Hip, hip, hoo Historian Ian's two bedroom house is full of over a thousand items, forming half a dozen prized collections. I've got about 300 trolls, about 300 stoneware cider flagons, about 250 cider bottles, and various other things. <laughs> These trolls hold a lot of sentiment for me. They come uh, with big noses, tails, and a sweet, ugly look. As I live on my own, they've really become my family. 51-year-old Ian may be single, but he's rarely on his own, as he keeps himself busy heading a local historical society, volunteering for charity, and working full-time in a warehouse. I think with cleaning, all my other activities have pushed it down near the bottom of my to-do file. The last time I cleaned my hob was well over a couple of years ago. I think what it needs is like an atom bomb. Ian's realised something must be done to help him find time to clean. I think having a clean house would really boost my self-esteem and I could get a, a normal life back. Hello, I, I'm Ian. Ian, and hello. I'm Andy. Pleased to meet you. Oh, yeah. Please come in. Thank you very much. Hi, well, Andy, this is my living room. <laughs> Look at it first as you go in. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. These are my folklore trolls. They are quite freaky. That's the whole uh, thing of them. Yeah. It's their ugliness, it's their cuteness, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh, the smell. What is that smell in? It's probably the grease and the oil. Have you not got any clean plates at all? At the moment, no. Right. This is the bathroom. Right. When was the last time the toilet was cleaned? Oh, oh many months ago. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Sorry, I've got it. <laughs> I can't act that. Oh, I don't know how people could have that like that. Just need a good shower or something now. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> oh, my God! There's bottles everywhere. Yep. So when, when was the last... <laughs> when was the last time these were all taken off, dusted and put back? Nope. 
Never? No. Nope. Do you not think it's a bit odd having bottles in your bedroom? No. Okay. <laughs> Andy wants to make sure Ian understands his obsessive cleaning regime will also be accompanied by ritualistic behaviours. I have to do things in cycles of two or four or um, eight. How long do you actually uh, take to do the whole house? I can spend 12 hours. In one day? In one day. So you don't really have any relaxing time? Not, not a lot, that. not a lot, no. And so I am having some therapy at the moment and then this is hopefully going to be part of that. I think the next few days are going to be hard for both of us. For me to actually do some cleaning and for him actually do some cleaning but in a totally different way. I need to be sympathetic to how he feels about all his belongings and his collections but at the same time I've got to put a little bit of pressure on him else it, it's never going to happen. <laughs> In Hertfordshire, single hairdresser Claire is spending four days tackling three rooms in divorcee Charlie's house. The kitchen, living room and bedroom. So she's ordered a skip and prepared herself for the job in hand. I'm not standing in that filth without being fully, fully covered. Guard against contamination. Hello. Hello, Claire. <laughs> I thought you going to a fancy dress party. Forensics, isn't it? Oh, forensics. <laughs> I can see that. Ready. Before they can start cleaning, OCD diagnosed Claire needs to clear two decades worth of clutter from former hair model Charlie's living room. We'll soon get through all of this. I'm a quick worker, me. Bin. No, oh, thank you. No. There's loads more in here oh, they're as well. All, yeah, they're, they're all sentimental, them ones. What do I do with that? Recycling. Don't just throw it back there. Give it to me and I'll put oh. it in recycling. I'm not touching that filthy ashtray. You're going to have to touch that. I'm getting too old for this game. You can't criticise Claire because she won't listen. She wants it done her way. She's always done it that way. Look all those fag butts on the floor. What's that then? She's an old bossy boats. Look. Oh, hairdresser's journal. 1973. I was five. <laughs> and there you are. You look a little bit like Bruce Forsyth yeah, there. Three hours later, Claire can finally make a start with the dusting. If there's anything like dusty skirting boards, yeah. I usually use my hair dry just to blast the dust oh, right. off before I wash the skirting boards down. I've never seen that. This is vile. Right, I'm going to get those cobwebs down. Right, I'm going in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is disgusting. I feel like I want to get in a bath of bleach. Absolutely disgusting. I can feel I'm getting all. It's not even funny, it's disgusting. How can you just sit in here and just it not affect you? Charlie, look at that grid. Is that meant to let air in? Uh, I think it's supposed to stop the spires getting in, but it hasn't worked. I'd have to scrub that and scrub that. If I couldn't get that clean, it would really affect me. I wouldn't be able to sleep, it would be on my mind. I'd feel... I've, I've even cried before over things that have really affected me. With If, you know, if someone's come in or they've left yeah. footprints and I get really disturbed by things and I panic and I want them gone and then I have to start cleaning. So you don't have people round because your house is full of clutter. I don't have people round because I don't want them making my flat dirty. I feel really, really sorry for Claire. I've never met anyone with OCD. I should think if she got married, she wouldn't be married very long. It needs to come up, this carpet. It's beyond help. It, all the dust is still coming off it. It's filthy. I'm really, really fuming. 
that so, it just doesn't seem to bother him. I just feel really stressed. I can't even breathe. I feel like having a bloody good cry. One in 50 people in Britain is diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. For some, this can manifest itself in an extreme fear of germs, resulting in a compulsion to obsessively clean. I probably clean the bath about four times a week to the point that the bleach burns my eyes. Mum of three, Hayley, was diagnosed with OCD in 2007 and gets through a bottle of bleach a day, making sure her home is as surgically clean as possible. The triggers are mainly based around my children. I worry that if I don't carry out certain rituals that they'll get sick and then die. But what I'm trying to do now is face my fears and realise that that's not going to happen. To help her and fellow OCD sufferers and obsessive cleaners confront their need to clean, each week Hayley will visit their houses to explore if excessive time spent on cleaning is worth it. Joining Hayley this time is order-obsessed personal trainer Mark. 47-year-old Mark isn't diagnosed with OCD, but still spends over 50 hours a week making sure everything is clean and ordered. I start cleaning as soon as I get up, and I'm probably cleaning pretty much before I go to bed. First stop, Cornwall, a mum of two, Jade. Hello! You are right. Hello. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Thank you. I will ask you to take your shoes off her, that's all right. That's fine. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Housewife Jade was diagnosed with OCD in 2007 and through treatment has been able to cut her obsessive cleaning in half. It would be really, really interesting to actually know how clean my house is because to me it's filthy, to everybody else it's absolutely spotless. This is minimal, I like that. Yeah. So here's my bathroom. Nice. It's really important for me to have a clean bathroom. Come into my kitchen. Oh, it's lovely. Wow, this is tidy. The sink is the worst thing for me. That's the one thing that's got to be clean all the time. All I literally use is washing up liquid and kitchen cleaner. Go like that, and then I wash the cloth out. Yeah. And then I'll go like that, and then I wash it out again. Jade can clean her sink up to ten times a day and spends as much as seven hours a week on it alone. And then when I've done that, I then use the kitchen cleaner don't use um, sort of bleach or anything like that on there. Oh, never, no. ever? No, never. For me, my OCD, if I can't smell the bleach, I panic and I think it's not clean enough. That looks tiring. It is do. tiring, it is. I'm never happy unless mm -hmm. I stick to that routine. Shall we swap it and see? Go on, let's to test if Jade's excessive cleaning is necessary and to challenge her OCD, she's agreed to have her sink swabbed using a bacterial measuring device. God, I'm really scared. A reading of less than 500 is hygienic enough to eat off. It's 14. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. I've done an awful lot of work mm. to get to that. So. I might not have had to have wasted so much time. You could have actually just done yeah. several swooshes instead of the one and yeah. I think if it was any cleaner, she, it, her sink could be used in the surgical operations. I was always so anxious about how dirty my house was, but it's not. And that's relaxed me. Hopefully my OCD can now ease a lot more. I'm so, so proud of Jade. I could literally burst. For someone with, who's been diagnosed with OCD to say that, I'm really, really proud of her. Next, Hayley and Jade are off to test if Mark can better Jade's score. I'm a little bit worried about the test in mine, actually, but I won't go down without a fight. I may not get zeros, but I'll be close. Oh, come on! In Essex, obsessive cleaner Andy is back to attack Ian's 30 years of collections. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I come in. Thank you. Armed with a skip and a pack of plastic gloves, Andy has just four days to get collector Ian's bedroom, kitchen and living room in pristine order. Shall we start with these front ones then, Ian? OK. Minimalist Andy's first job is to organise the living room. Andy wants Ian to put some of his 300 trolls into storage. What about this little chap here? Uh, that one I, I want to keep because it's a lovely hand-carved troll and it's full of character. What about this one here? 
Now that's more special because that's from a former girlfriend of mine uh, in Sunderfjord. So, in this one? Uh, no, I, it's too much of a character to put away, that one. Is this how it's going to be then? Are we not going to I'm be not, able to be a bit uh, more strict on ourselves? We've got to come to a compromise here. I'm not getting rid of them all. I'm going more than halfway with you. Right, can we not put some more into storage though? Yeah, it's just not that one. I don't think Andy really understands what it really means to me to be sentimental to it, uh, for my things because he, he doesn't have anything uh, to be sentimental about. Or can few just go in the yeah, same? Actually, yeah. yes. OK, because they can keep each other company then, can't they? Oh, yeah, so the male and the female. You might have baby trolls. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need any more, Ian, do we? <laughs> Three hours later, six boxes of trolls are heading safely into the attic. Never mind, I'm not going in the loft. Yeah, don't worry. Don't go on my own. Obsessive cleaner Andy can finally get cleaning. At home, he spends up to two hours a day wiping his surfaces with soapy water. Over and back, nice and straight. Why do you need to uh, do it more than once? I've got this thing inside me that has, tells me to do things in even numbers. Mm -hmm. it's someone's yeah. like grabbing you by the neck. And, and just it's you back. That, that uncontrollable urge. Yes, yeah, it is. It is alien to me, really. I do feel sorry for him because virtually all of his life he's taken up by cleaning. With Andy spending up to 12 hours a day keeping his house spick and span, Ian's keen to show him how he spends his time. This is my uniform for the Colchester Town Watch. What does that involve? Uh, we, we dress up in Elizabethan uh, clothing and armour right. and we do our duties in town. How long do you spend doing that a week then? Virtually uh, once every single week. Wow, that's a lot of time spent doing that. Ian does seem very happy with the lifestyle he's got, and he just doesn't seem bothered about the house at all. Hip hip, pizza! Hip hip, pizza! I do feel like I'm missing out on life to some extent. Seeing Ian the way he is, maybe I can take something from that, you know, in a way I'd love to be a little bit more like him. In Hertfordshire, OCD-diagnosed Claire is halfway through cleaning divorcee Charlie's house. I don't know where to begin. At home, Claire can spend up to six hours a day keeping her kitchen pristine, whereas Charlie hasn't deep-cleaned his in a decade. So we need everything off the surfaces. And what's all this over here? Is there anything in here that can go...? Can I do one job at a time? Yeah, but I'm just asking... Well, so do you want me to do that first, or this? Right, do that then, right. so I can okay. start. Right. You're a dirty bugger, aren't you? She, oh, I know what she's trying to do to me, and yeah. it's working. But she keeps on and on and on. All right, I know she's got this OCD. And she's right, but she won't leave me alone. How have you let it get like this? Uh, I don't know. How long were you married for, Charlie? Uh, 20 years and one month. And one month, so you... And one month. So, and, the, and one month, you... Yeah. It still hurts. What's gone is gone. Tomorrow is a new start. I can see you're getting upset. Oh, yeah. Clean house. Clean uh, slate. Yep. Ah, that's what I sent the wife on our, one of our wedding anniversaries. Shoes she used to go dancing in. Christmas cards, birthday cards. Back to 19... Well, I think it started about 1966, we were caught in. But it's got to move on. I'll start again tomorrow. Harbourture, it's day three of the four-day clean. OCD diagnosed Claire is starting on Charlie's bedroom that hasn't been cleaned since his wife left 20 years ago. Have you ever changed the bedding since you first put it on? Year and eight months or something like that. That's how long the bedding's been on without it being changed or washed? Oh, I did wash it once before, between that, I must admit that. At home, Claire changes her sheets every three days. I don't think you, you understand what this is actually doing to me. 
I understand what it's doing for me because it is going to make me a more confident person. Instead of washing the bedding, Charlie has chosen to throw the whole lot away. Looks better already. No, it doesn't. It's emergency pee time, so I've got to get in there and clean. Just I'm bursting. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm getting into the swing of things now. I think it's having Claire around. I miss female company. I've been too long by myself. Oh my God. Tell you what's hard to only clean part of it, knowing that I couldn't clean the whole thing. This is it with OCD, it's incomplete. I now, because I've started on the toilet, want to clean and sanitise the whole toilet. It's dirty beast. What right there, Claire, what are you up to? I'm cleaning your bog, Charlie. You need to do your toilet every day. I can't compromise and say do it three times a week. No, toilet every single day. I think it's a little bit excessive. It's not excessive to me because I've got OCD. If I didn't clean my toilet every day, that would upset me. Yeah. There is clean and there is excessive clean. I don't think I can do it every single morning when I get up. Forging ahead, Claire makes a start on the kitchen. At home, Claire cleans her cooker daily with a toothbrush and dental floss. But Charlie's not cleaned his in seven years. It's vile. These are meant to come off so you can clean. Oh, look at that. Look at this, Charlie. Yeah. It makes me angry. It's just laziness, isn't it? <coughs> Dare I look inside? Charlie. What is it? Well, it looks like a black pudding. Oh, God. See, I can feel my mouth going dry again now. Give it your best shot, Claire. If the worst comes to the worst, I'll bend it. He'll never know how it feels, because he hasn't got OCD. I'm almost scared to tackle it. Claire is most upset. I don't think I've seen her as upset as this. I think that's done a red in there. The average person comes into contact with millions of germs every day without getting ill. But for some sufferers of OCD, every single germ can be a terrifying prospect, resulting in a compulsion to clean and ritualistic behaviour. With OCD diagnosed Jade's kitchen sink tested... 14. Yes! It's now the turn of personal trainer Mark to see if all his cleaning is worthwhile. I'm hoping that I do a good enough job so that I can still be right up there. <laughs> Hi guys, Hi. how are you? Hi. Do you want to come on in? Yes, yes thank you. And what's your policy with shoes? Are we uh, it, it's a shoe friendly zone, so you just keep them on. <laughs> Mark isn't diagnosed with OCD, but spends eight hours a day keeping everything in his life clean and tidy. This is my upstairs bathroom. It looks clean, it looks really shiny. Yeah, it does. Everything's got order, everything's all lined <laughs> up. Yeah, I, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know how clean it is, but it's certainly in nice straight lines. Do you know what I worry about, Mark? What? Well, you have got a toilet there and poo particles might go over your toothbrushes because they're not in a cupboard. Yeah, I think it's quite a distance, though. <laughs> it's not far enough. <laughs> right, guys, this is my kitchen. Oh, it smells nice in here. Oh, it does. It smells lovely. Mm. This is um, probably where I spend 90% of my time. I can't wait to see how you keep that sink clean because it looks absolutely spotless. I have this powder stuff that I use, which is for, for stainless steel. Mark, like Jade, doesn't use any bleach and spends two and a half hours a week cleaning his sink, while Jade spends seven hours on hers. And I literally go round and round. It's, a, it's like a scouring paste. So, once I've gone round it with that, I've got a thing about microfiber cloths because I just think they work better than anything else. And then all I have is these wipes to finish off because I'm sort of well aware that the cloth I use has got quite a few germs in it. There it is. Shall we sob it? Be my guest. 
Jade scored 14 on her sink and Mark is hoping to better that result. 500 or under is clean enough to hygienically prepare food. <gasps> Get in there! Who is the daddy? <laughs> it's cleaner than mine! <laughs> I feel proper smug. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. You may have an OCD, you may be diagnosed, but it doesn't stop me getting right in there with a the big fat zero. I'm shocked at that, really. I feel like bleach is the only thing that gets something sterile. It's now proved it wrong. I want to have a look at that cloth mark because I thought it was filthy. Oh, come on. Oh. You are kidding me. And you've still got a zero. The amount of time and effort you put in doesn't necessarily correlate to fantastic results, so sometimes it's less is just as good. The whole experience has kind of bonded us and I feel like we will continue to go on and help each other with our OCD. Right, okay. In Essex, there are just two days left. With Ian and Andy making good progress, hey. they make a start on Ian's bedroom, which hasn't been cleaned since he moved in 15 years ago. What, what are these? That's cardboard? rubbish. Okay, yeah. so that can go to cardboard recently? Uh, yes. Currently, it contains over 250 cider bottles collected over the last 30 years. Okay, so do you think we could reduce the amount? No, I don't think so because it, uh, it would lose the effect of it. Dust them, yes, but not move them. I gave you a lot of leeway downstairs, okay. but this is my room. I don't understand how, if he likes them so much, why he lets them get in such a state. And they just needed a good clean. So Ian, what sort of triggered the mess? I don't really know. My mum was a little bit of a hoarder. Right. I think I had a very good childhood. And my parents weren't that strict uh, with me. Do you think that's maybe why you're not strict on yourself in certain ways? Yeah, probably, actually. Yeah? Uh, because I wasn't really told too much, do this, do that. I f sort of feel a bit more a bit more sympathetic towards him. I can kind of relate to him more now as a person. I'm starting to understand where this all started. Bedroom done and dusted, they can move on to the kitchen. I'm not used to cleaning anything like that, so this is going to be a big test for me. At home, Andy can spend three hours cleaning his kitchen. Ian hasn't touched his in five years. It's just absolutely vile, is the word. I don't know how you can prepare food on that. Right, Ian, so this hob, I'm not touching it. I want you to do that. Right. You can give that a good going over okay. until I want to see that gleaming. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I think he's starting to care a bit more about it. I think he's taking a bit more pride um, in, in his home. Spurred on by Andy, Ian now wants to attack the pile of dishes that haven't been cleaned for 18 months. What I do, right. I use this machine. It cleans the outside, the inside, all in one go. I've never seen anything like that. That's pretty good. Let's have a look. And Oh, wow. That's a really good thing, that is. Yeah. I like that. We've both worked as a team today. Ian's cleaning. I was kind of like smiling sort of behind him as he was doing it, thinking actually that's not far off how I do it. I think today has been maybe the start of the turning point for me, to be honest. In Essex, 300 bottles are ready to be recycled, and many of Ian's collections have been safely stored in his loft. So now Andy can do the final touches to the rest of the house. But there's one thing he's not prepared to do. I can't, I can't do it. I just don't, I don't even look down. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to hand okay. this to you, yeah? And yeah. if you can crack on with it, all right? OK. Bathroom done, lifelong friend Roger is on his way to see the results. His house was quite um, bad. I'm hoping there's a big difference. If not, I can guarantee you I'll be after him. Hello, Hello Roger. Ian. Come in, I've got plenty to show you. 
Oh, I hope so. Four days ago, Ian's living room was packed to the rafters with 300 trolls, 300 cider flagons, and a floor that hadn't been seen in years. Now the space is detrolled and sparkling clean with a brand new sofa. Oh, my bloody hell. Oh, oh, this is whammy, whammy, whammy. I'll Thank take my hat off to you. Thank there you very much. Previously, the kitchen was filthy and cluttered, and Ian hadn't done the washing up for 18 months. Now Ian has clear worktops that even Andy can be proud of. Now this is not the same house. I can assure you it is the same house, it's the yes. same kitchen. It's absolutely bloody marvellous. Before, Ian's bottle collection in his bedroom hadn't been dusted in 15 years and he was sharing his bed with a mound of clothes. Now, with new bedding and bottles cleaned and organised, Ian can sleep easy. You're not joking. I'm speechless. And for me to be speechless is unusual. <laughs> Mind you, I see he's still got his bottle collection. But they're clean. It's really given me an impetus to have a better life. I've got a nice, tidy house that's easy to clean now. Right, right then, Ian, keep up the good work. Yep, I've got something for you as a parting gift. <laughs> uh, that's for you. I will put it a pride of place in. Thank you very much. That's really nice of you. I think I'm going to look at my house in a completely different way. Right, see you, Ian. Bye. So I don't think I'm going to spend as long as I do at the moment cleaning. I realise now that my house doesn't need that. In Harbourshire, three rooms have been cleaned in four days and a skip full of Charlie's belongings have been removed from the house. Oh dear. I've done really well. I've pushed myself and I hope in some way this does help my OCD. But that cooker is disgusting, so I don't know if I'm going to break out into a sweat. But what she doesn't know is overnight, Charlie's been hard at work in the kitchen. Bloody hell, look at that. Well, I... That's better than what I could have done. Dental floss time. That's my little invention. I think it's a good invention. I think I might have a word with my dentist, see if I can get some. Before she leaves, there's time for one more cleaning lesson. All it takes is a bit of getting in there and giving it a good old scrub. We might be heading towards the lickable toilet here. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to lick. I'm oh, going to no, lick it. No, watch, no. watch, watch, watch. <laughs> oh, no. Do you want to get in there for a lick? Here we go. I don't think I'll ever use that toilet again. So even if the Queen turns up, I can say, it's clean, Madge. Friend of half a century, Peter, hasn't seen the inside of Charlie's house for seven years. Oh, Charles, how are you? Oh, Pete, not too bad. How are you going to shake your head? Charlie's inability to throw anything out meant his living room had been buried in clutter for nearly a decade. Now the space has been cleared, revealing a living room his friends can feel welcoming. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, when you think how it was, and look at it now, Charlie, it's, it's normal in all the house, isn't it? Yeah. You're a very lucky man to make these. <laughs> very lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, doesn't it? So, should we move on into the kitchen? Before Charlie's food encrusted cooker hadn't been cleaned in nearly a decade, and he only washed the dishes twice a month. Now the kitchen's spotless and he can finally eat at his dining table. Look at the sides of that in the sink. Oh, I mean, the sink is it's aluminium. <laughs> it is now. You can't believe what you've done. It's amazing. Well, we've done it together. Yeah, I'm glad you made him do something. <laughs> that's what he needed. Isn't it? So, do you want to come and see the bedroom? Yeah, if it's anything like down here, it's going to be nice. Yep, you wait till you see <laughs> it. Four days ago, Charlie could barely remember the last time he changed the sheets. Now the bed's been transformed and the old carpet's gone. Oh, Charlie, a proper bedroom. It just shows your house was all right, it was just filthy. 
You couldn't see nothing, could you? No, no. The bed was good enough to get in there, didn't it? I can find things now. There's no clutter. It would have taken me 12 months to do what you've achieved in the last couple of days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'd love it. I, I wish <laughs> you all the best you. I do. Really, it's, everything goes all right It's been a, a grim pleasure, if that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> yeah. She's like a little angel. She's absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. I don't know why I'm thanking you. I've just cleaned your bloody hands. No, I'm thanking you. I didn't think at first I was going to get on with her. It was nag, 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 nag. See you, Claire. But now we've exchanged telephone numbers and we will be in touch. I feel really proud. I feel proud of myself and I feel really proud of Charlie as well. He's a lovely bloke. I'm hoping that this experience will help me reduce my cleaning. I think it will. That will give me more hours for hopefully a social life.